on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. So today, this was sent to us from Banggood. And we'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these. This is WL Toys 144001. Plus, if you use our discount code, you'll save an extra 20% off, and that expires on 11:30 of 19. This thing's 114 scale, four-wheel drive, 60 kilometers an hour, roughly 37 miles an hour, 550 motor, brushed motor, 7.4 volts as far as it's gonna be what it comes with as far as a, a battery. You just and it has a charger with it. Some and it's gonna be a 2.4 gigahertz. Without further ado, let's get this thing open and take a look. All right, guys, let's take a look at what's in the box. I kind of already peeked in there and checked it all out, uh, the instruction manual. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way here quick. So you do get the charger. We'll get into that in a little bit here, a little bit more into it. But you just use like your phone charger. You'll just unplug it, plug this USB in or your computer. Uh, there is one thing I would recommend is you buy another charger down the road if you're kind of more serious about doing it because there's no indication light that's on here letting you know if it's been fully charged or not. So it's a little bit, in, in my case, a little dangerous not knowing if it's gonna keep charging or not. So keep that in mind. Uh, you do get this little wheel wrench or what have you, this little T-style, it is plastic, but this will help you a little bit to get the wheels off or what have you, some basic maintenance that you can do. And then you do have your instruction manual and I would definitely recommend you know, checking it over before you kind of get started knowing what everything is, just in case you're new to the hobby or so. So these are definitely good information also on here kind of a breakdown you know making all your adjustments and everything like that too for your tie rods and we'll get into that as well your shocks and everything these these shocks do have oil filled so that's definitely nice on that one and then at the very the very end of it here you do have as far as your parts list too so that way if you need something replaced you'll have an idea as far as to what part number you need to be looking for so very cool all right on to take a look in there Let's get to this radio. This radio at 2.4 gigahertz, so it's a standard as far as when it comes to that part of it. Now, radio, it's not bad. It's got a little uh, foam grip that's on here. It does have the little on and off switch and your little adjustments. Some basic adjustments as far as for if your car starts to kind of go forward by itself, you can make adjustments on the throttle uh, trim. And then you have your steering trim as well. So that will help a little bit. Uh, and then you have your little trigger that's here too. I was looking at it as far as it says dual right here. So anyway, and then you have your four AA batteries at the bottom. So not bad at all. I'll have to look into that dual rate once I get this thing going here. All right, now onto the car. Let's take a look at that. That's what we're waiting for. Let's push that aside. That thing looks awesome. Now I've already taken the plastic off. So in shipping, there's an extra little piece of film that's over it to protect it from getting scratched up and what have you, you just peel that off of there. But all in all, you guys let me know what you guys think about this, a lot of aluminum. Take a look at just the outside of it too. I'm gonna give you the spin of it. But you can see lots of aluminum, lots of shiny little pieces that are on there too. Oil filled shocks and there is oil. I've already checked in there as well. These tires here, they do have like a little bit of foam. They feel like there's some kind of foam that might be in there, possibly. Um, it's hard to say. If it is, it's pretty light anyway. Um, as far as the grip here, these are more or less would be something for like a clay track. So if you run them on road, just assume that these things are gonna, you know, they're not gonna last very long on that one. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this body off of here. Take a look at what's underneath it. I don't know, there's a shell of the body. So pretty cool. All right, getting into the battery itself. So let's go ahead and take that off of there, get it out. And what it comes with, 7.4 volts. It's 5,000 or 1,500 milliamp. So this will give you, I don't know, as far as the rent, you know, as far as runtime, a little over five minutes. You know, probably something like six, eight, ten minutes. It could, it's going to vary just based on what you're doing if you're running at full speed all the time. So yeah, your mileage will vary more or less. All right, now as far as the charger goes, so if by chance you're new and you're not really sure or you know you got this for somebody, you can at least show them a little bit if they're under 14, which they recommend that you be 14 at least. But yeah, here's where you'd plug it in and that's it. Then just plug this into, you can plug it into your computer, but ideally just use your phone charger. I'm sure you guys got plenty of chargers lying around that you can use 
to charge up this little battery. Now, the one thing downside to it, like I, if I didn't mention already, was that there's no indication light that's on here. So it's definitely uh, would be something good to invest in a better charger anyways. All right, so moving past the battery. Now, as far as onto the electronic speed controller, this is where it's controlling the motor. And here's this we're gonna plug your battery into here. So this is T-style, Dean-style connections. Uh, it does have its electronic speed controller and receiver in one. So normally these would be two different components, but it's an all-in-one setup. And if we flip around to the other side, we have our servo over here, which is controlling our steering. Then we have our big 540 motor. These are gonna be like, more or less you would see these in one-tenth scales. For this would be in a one-fourteenth scale, which is the fourteenth scale are the smaller. So one-tenth scale being a larger, so the the smaller the number, the bigger the vehicle. It's more closer to that one-to-one -one ratio as far as the actual real thing. So yeah, that's not bad. It's, I mean, that's a, that's why I went with this anyhow. It's like, oh man, it's got a big motor that's in there. Get extra power. So that's what it's all about, right? <laughs> now, just looking it over anyhow, as far as your dog bones, those are steel, your turnbuckles that are in here as well. If you need to adjust anything, already you can already do all that stuff. And uh, you, just in case your wheels are going, you know, pointing one direction and the other one's pointing the other direction or one's straight and one's, as you kind of see here, if I go straight, this one's already veering off. We can adjust that using those that little turnbuckle and we can adjust all that. So that's nice on that part of it. And it's got a little small servo that's in there, but it probably does a job. I've had other of uh, these uh, WL toys and they seem to work pretty well. So don't underestimate the small little servo. It's pretty good. But all in all, you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this, but it is definitely cool in my opinion. So yeah, I think it's gonna be a cool thing. So if you guys are looking for something like this for a Christmas gift or anything like that, just need four AA batteries and you're good to go. So um, I'll put a link, like I said, in this description below. If you jump on this deal before 1130, you can use the code that I'll have down at the bottom and that'll save you an extra 20% off the already low price though on this vehicle anyhow. Uh, really cool, and I think it'd be a cool little gift for somebody, or just for yourself if you're looking for one. But until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care, and check us out, omgrc.com. There you go. And uh, you can sign up for our newsletter. Uh, we don't stock any of these kind of vehicles. These are, again, these are from Banggood, so if you're looking for other RC vehicles, we have loads of stuff as well so check us out and until next time you guys take care and thank you again for watching see you